Beauty ridiculous and I'm so good I'm shivering Hey guys, it's me Lonnie and today's video is a little different for me. I don't typically do fashion hauls, but here we are. Um, it is March 8th-ish, I think. Yeah, this is the 8th. And summer's right around the corner. Spring is right around the corner. Praise, praise God. Yes, so we gotta get our bathing suits together, girls. We, we gotta get ourselves together. Now, I am in the state of like saving, saving, saving. So I was like, I'm not buying any new bathing suits this year. But then I realized, I got new boobs, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, I needed to try some new things. Long story short, I've never felt comfortable wearing like bikini tops, like the regular traditional triangle tops, because I was always top heavy. Um, if you didn't know this, if this is your first video here, you can go back to my breast reduction vlog series. I have five videos about me getting breast reduction, but now that we're here, I was like, I gotta show off, I gotta show off the girls now. The girls can go outside. They're no longer homebound, no more on house arrest, none of that. So, I was like, where can I get cheap bathing suits from? Sheen, right? I have not opened up the package, so we will be opening this up together. I don't know if this is going to be really cheap. I don't know if it's going to be good quality. I don't know what's going on. All the reviews for these bathing suits were um, really good. So, let's see how this goes. I got four bathing suits and um, I'm excited to try them on. I will of course link all of these bathing suits in the description. Um, I'll try my best to tell you what it is from this little piece of paper. Um, yeah, here we go. So first we have this white uh, bikini top and these bottoms let's hope that my booty can fit in there because my booty's so big lord have mercy just playing and there's this cover up dress which is really story on this bathing suit I thought that this was um, just the cover up and then I was like oh shoot when I was about to buy the stuff I was like I didn't read the reviews on this so then I went back to read the reviews and I saw like the exact same three piece in black and I was like why does she feel the need to wear a black so then I realized like it's a three piece not just the cover up so there's that all white real heavenly body looking like milk I like it it's good quality um the mesh was very um I don't know what to call it I don't want to call it thick because it's not thick it's mesh but like it doesn't feel like it'll work is what I'm trying to say it doesn't feel very cheap it doesn't feel like I'll poke a hole through it with my nails so I think that's good the bath the bathing suit also is really good quality um all of these tops had like the pad like the built-in pad that we all throw away <laughs> Um, which is fine. I'll probably keep it inside the white one so that way you can't see through it. But overall, I really like this. Um, I thought these bottoms were going to turn into a thong and they did not. So that's good to notice. Again, I got this in a size large, um, which was great. Next, we have this one piece, right? Real cute. And I got it in a size large because a large was a 8 slash 10 and I was concerned about my butt and I felt like I can tighten the top of the bikini but the butt part like you can't really do anything about that. So I decided to get a size up even though I'm probably more like a medium. Feels like good material. It's not really super stretchy. 
um, like kind of snug feeling. So, yes, yes, yes. This is cute. I didn't feel as naked as I thought I would feel, which is ironic because they're all swimsuits and they all, this probably has the most fabric because it has the whole crisscross action happening, even though they're on these strings. Um, I probably have to have someone help me adjust this because it was like kind of hard to maneuver. I threw it on and there were like five different like um, buckles to adjust and like it was just a lot to be like reaching and looking in the mirror and like so whatever. I'll probably have to have somebody help me like make it fit better but um, all in all I like this. This is definitely not one for family vacations is a little bit like it's a little bit more cheeky not even by a lot but like it's, it's just a little bit more sexy than the rest of them which is again funny because they are all bathing suits they all basically have the same triangle top the same triangle bottom but something about this just feels a little bit more like grown folks so but it's real cute I actually really enjoy this again I'll have to adjust it to my body a little bit better but it's great and i probably will pair this with um like one of my kimonos like black cover-ups that i have or whatever <sighs> but yeah i like this brown cow stunning <laughs> um if you don't know what that's from i am going to insert the clip but it's a reference to rupaul's drag race that's a giraffe <laughs> ain't spotted like that that's a giraffe i saw it and i was like oh brown cow stunning <laughs> anyway this girl is very cute again this is the only one i got in a medium because this is the only one that doesn't have the tie in the back it was a like a buckle like um you hook and then you and you like secure it um so I figured I would get a medium in this because I figured if it was too big, then like I'd be like exposed. So if it was smaller, then I don't know. In my head, it made sense. But in reality, um, the cup size like that covers my boobs is a little too small. Like it's not enough fabric to cover my entire boob. So I will have like a little bit like under like if I can, again, like all of these things, I'm only by myself, so I couldn't tie it the way I would like to. It was just like a temporary tie for the video. But uh, I think even if it's tied securely, I'm going to have a little bit underneath showing. Like not too much where like you can see skin, but like I, you can feel like air. <laughs> like there's air going up there. Not really like, oh, there's underboob, but like you know you got underboob going on. Um, so I feel like if I would have gotten a large, then it would have been like a bigger material cut to cover the, the boob and then it probably would have worked out. But this is the only one with the underwire. Super cute, like it's very different. I, it like makes it a little girly to me, like something about it feels like real feminine. Um, and I think it's very cute and very different. The bottoms fit great though, being a medium. Um, I feel like that wasn't an issue. It was probably like the, I would have to look at the footage to see, but I feel like these bottoms weren't really cheeky. Like I feel like the cut is just a little bit wider than the other ones, so whatever. But, and then the, the little sarong, is that how you call it? What you call it? The little skirt, chef's kiss super freaking cute backstory on this i for some reason am so fascinated with like cow print but i'm i'm not fascinated to the point where i'm like i want a cow print shirt or i want a cow print like pair of pants shoes maybe but like something about this is so mesmerizing specifically brown cow print like i got my nails brown cow print one time I'll probably insert a picture because it was super cute and I want to get it done again. But something about brown cows <laughs> are stunning. <laughs> but this is so freaking cute. So I was like, when I saw it, I'm like, I got to get it. Like, this is it for me. Like, this is it. This is the piece of cow print that I've been missing because it's this little cute summer thing. Not too gaudy. Like, 
this animal print is lit. I don't, I'm not really into animal print. That's why I'm surprised I liked the next bed in the suit because animal print is not my thing. I'm more of a solid color, more neutral. I don't even like red. See, I'm just out all types of out of my comfort zone for the next one. And last but not least, this is the piece that started it all. I was scrolling on Twitter, I believe. I'm like 85% sure I was on Twitter. But I was scrolling on social media and I saw this bathing suit on this girl and I was like, that is so fire. Like, I need it. And I was like, I, I bet. Like, I'm an internet detective. So I was like, I bet you I could find this swimsuit. But like, where would it be? It was a mix up between Pretty Little Thing, Fashion Over, and Sheen. I was like, I'm going to find it on one of those three places. I have to. And Sheen is where I looked first. And I found it. This says Leopard Halter Tie Side Bikini Swimsuit. And I got this in a large. So, this is bikini top, right? And the one side is red and the other side is leopard. This is so, this is fire. And then the bottoms, right? Mm -mm -mm. Same thing. So the front is leopard and then the back, bro. Wait till I try this on. This was it, this was it for me. Like this was worth the whole little mini haul. This was worth all three other bathing suits that I got because this is exactly what I imagined it being like from the picture on Twitter like the material first of all I only I didn't mention the material for the other three but the material for all of these bathing suits are super quality none of them feel cheap even the sarong again it was like the mesh from the first cover-up it doesn't feel very cheap it doesn't feel like I'll rip it um feels sec very secure so this one like everything about this is just magic when i put it on this is the only one that i didn't have to retie so i could really see like how it's supposed to give what i thought it was going to give which it gave like i could really see all of that the girls was sitting perched like everything about this bathing suit it's just it's just it the leopard in the front on the, on the bikini bottom and then the red in the back. This is a showstopper. Like, this is a showstopper. I'm so glad I found it. I'm so glad. But all in all, I spent, let me bring up my receipt. My entire order was uh, $48.77. So four bathing suits for $50 basically. I think that was a still. I will not be buying any more bathing suits this year. Probably not even next year because I have enough. Um, all my other bathing suits are funny <laughs> because they're all from Icon Swim. So if this video goes well, I can do like an old haul. Is that a thing? Because all of those bathing suits are, are like one to three years old so they're not that old some of them are still on icon swim website so if you want to see those if this video goes well obviously if you like it i'll be able to tell that you liked it so hit that like button and then also if you made it this far hit the subscribe button please and thank you but um if this video goes over well i can like do a, a old haul of all my icon swim bathing suits and those cover-ups because i think i got all of those from Icon Swim as well. If not, it's from Pretty Little Thing. My other cover-ups might be from Pretty Little Thing. But, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, it'll be much appreciated. More travel vlogs coming. I didn't buy these bathing suits for nothing, okay? okay. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all at the next upload. Bye.